Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Gary Chen and Jumps here, back with Pokemon Soul 7 in the last episode. It was the finale, and we beat uh, Pokemon Trainer Red, and in this episode, um, this is the bonus episode. I did say in the finale that there was going to be two bonus episodes. I decided just to keep it as one, because in the second bonus episode, I was going to, um, you know, uh, uh, rematch all the gym leaders, but that requires finding all of them, getting their phone number, and then going to the dojo in Saffron City, right next to Sabrina's gym, and rematching them. So I thought it was a little redundant just to do that, so I decided not to do it. Here, Professor Oak is going to let us catch, um, or allow us to get one of the three Kanto starters. Now we have Charmander, Squirtle, and um, Bubblesaur. So I'm going to go with Charmander just because I love freaking Charizard. Charizard is just a monster. Um, so I'm not going to nickname, nickname him. You're probably noticing that I'm talking really fast and going through this episode extremely fast. Wow, I should really slow down. <laughs> but um, yeah, now I'm going to want to go to Saffron City. Reason for that is because um, it's just a bonus episode and I'm not really putting too much work into this. That's why you see there is no sidebars or anything. I decided just to keep it as a top screen. Um... And just leave it like that. Now, if you come into the Sylph Co., you can talk to Steven. And, um, as you see, he's here. And he'll allow you to pick one of the three uh, Hoenn starters. Now, um, the green stone is Trico, red stone is Torchic, and blue stone is um, Mudkip. I'm going to be picking the blue stone and um, getting Mudkip just because Mudkip's boss. And I like the Do You Like Mudkip's meme. And, um, reason I also picked um, this order of, uh, Pokemon starters because um, I have a Kanto Fire type, a Johto Grass type, and a Hoenn uh, Water type. So basically, I have the first three Gen po uh, Pokemon or starter Pokemon, and I have um, a variety of their types. So you know, I thought it was just a little better to do it that way. Now I'm just gonna fly over to Cherry Grove City. I kind of hate how fast I'm talking. It kind of like gets rid of the mood of the video, but um, it's just what I gotta do. Now, as you see, the title of this bonus episode is Embedded Tower. Now, I'm going to come into the PC, um, and what we're going to do is we're going to... Fuck. We're going to deposit... Not move! Stop it! Deposit Charmander and, um, and Mudkip into the first box, and then we will withdraw... Um, Ratatat, because we're gonna need him for later. I mean, I, I, don't, I can get him later, but it just saves a lot more time getting him now. Um, so now, we're gonna wanna head north of Cherry Grove City and go to Mr. Pokemon's house. If you do remember him, he was the one who gave us the, um, EXP share for, uh, Gyarados's Red Scale. So, you know, um, you should thank him. And he was the, like, first person's house we had to go to at the beginning of the game. And Professor, and this is where we first met Professor Oak, and he gave us the, um, Pokédex, but um, here as you see, uh, we get a red orb. Now, if you're playing Soul Silver, you get a red orb. If you're playing Heart Gold, you get a blue orb. Now, um, depending, obviously, depending on what game you get, uh, you get a different uh, orb. Um, you can, ca if you're playing uh, Heart Gold, you're supposed to catch Kyogre with the blue orb, and if you're playing um, Soul Silver like me, you will get a red orb, which allows you to catch Kyogre over here in the embedded tower um, next to the Safari Zone. Now, um. Here, Chuck is just going to talk to us randomly, and I'm just going to ignore him. So, yeah, he talks about the Embedded Tower and a bunch of stuff and uh, how we should go there, but we're going to need Rock Climb and Surf, so that's exactly what we have. We have Lapras for that and um, Razor, so, you know, it should not be too hard to get there. And um, we're going to catch uh, Groudon, obviously, like I said before. Um, now... The thing is, uh, actually I'll explain that later. Oh, what am I doing? I am supposed to be putting on a max repel. What am I doing? Alright, so yeah. Um, I'm speeding up a lot just because I'm going to need to catch two legendaries in this episode. Which could take a while just because, uh, you know my luck with legendaries. Um, I did say on episode 39, that, or like, I think it was 37. This is the end of me catching legendaries until bonus episodes. And this is basically the bonus episode that I'm catching legendaries. This dude, I'm going to ignore him. He just tells you about the Embedded Tower and its secrets, saying that it used to extend all the way down to the bottom of the ocean and to the highest um, peak of the sky. So if you just walk straight in, you'll see this weird pattern with Groudon standing in the middle. So I'm actually going to save real quick. Um, I'll just keep that on screen. I'll just save. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Actually, I don't want to save. I will actually make a save state. Um, you probably see that on the screen, but yeah, I made a save state there. Hopefully the save state does not fuck over. Um, I will, you know, fuck. 
I'm gonna use, uh, I don't wanna use any, like, uh, surfing type moves or anything, or any water type moves, because I'm pretty sure that would just destroy him. So I'm gonna use Dragon Pulse once, and he used Rest. Alright, so, Dragon Pulse, and I'm pretty sure anything else would kill him, so, um, I'm gonna go for a Drill Peck. Oh, that is perfect. That is perfecto mundo. Um, I'm gonna come out with... Fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna come out with fuck. Alright, um, let's use Gyro Ball on him. Let's just spam this because I don't want to do anything... I don't, I don't want to do something too bad to him. So, let's actually just come out with Icebreaker again. He just, he's just gonna keep using Rest. Oh my god, this is the one thing about the, uh... The legendaries from, um from Hoenn is that they just use rest all the time. I wish they had got rid of that just because I freaking hate rest. Um, we're pretty much going to be able to bulk this out just because of our level Pokemon. Um, I'm going to just keep using Dragon Rage every single time he goes asleep and just spam some Ultra Balls. Like, I mean, they've been asleep for years and although they just want to keep going to sleep, I don't, I don't understand this. What, what's up with them? Like, these, these Hoenn legendaries are just weird, bro. They just want to keep sleeping. Alright, um... I am definitely not going to use Surf or anything like that, so I'm going to bring out Ace. Hope that Ancient Power doesn't kill me. Alright. Um, and I will use Assurance once. Let's use Assurance another time. I think one more Assurance should do the job. Alright. And, uh, let's go out with Icebreaker. And, uh, let's heal up just so we don't lose any Pokemon. I hope he doesn't use rest. All right. Um, now I'm gonna spam some more Ultra Balls. I did buy Ultra Balls off screen if you haven't noticed. Now um, I'll probably just cut off uh, right here until I actually catch Groudon. So yeah, I'll see you guys in just a sec. Okay, guys. Um, I'm actually here. 15 minutes into the recording. Uh, when I left, I think I was around like six. Um, yeah, I'm just getting frustrated. So I went on Google, searched up 100% catch rate code. And I said, this is the bonus episode, I'm never going to play this game ever again, so what's the point of even doing, um, of even caring about what I do in this game? So, you know, it is also the bonus episode, so I did put on the 100% catch rate thing, and I'm, I caught Groudon just because it was getting extremely, extremely, fucking extremely annoying. Oh my god, you just don't understand my pain. It was so freaking annoying. Like, seriously... It was like, he would not get in the ball, he would just keep using rest. Like, I, I give props to those who can actually catch Groudon without getting frustrated. Or Kyogre in that fact. Um, but I, I know I'm not one of those people. I get frustrated extremely easily. Um, I'm not I'm not gonna lie, this is the first time I've ever done that, or did this in this LP that I used 100% um, cheat code. Um, and since it's the bonus episode, last episode of Soul Silver, I decided who gives a fuck. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this. So I'm sorry if you guys are disappointed in this and unsub or something or whatever, but I'm extremely sorry. I just can't deal with it. Um I'm gonna switch out Ratatat first and um I'm gonna if you do see you can see everything on screen. I do have the Kyogre uh action replay code right there. So if I save here and then if you hold L and R and then go to your Pokemon, it replaces your your first Pokemon with the Heart Gold um, Kyogre. I don't know the cheat code for the Groudon, uh, for the Soul Silver Groudon. So you know, um, make sure that you switch your first Pokemon, or else it's gonna uh, change your first Pokemon into a level 50 Ky uh, Kyogre from Heart Gold. So yeah, obtained by Jin. I don't know who the fuck that is, but uh, yeah, I guess it was the person who made the um, cheat code. But after um, you have both of them, make sure that uh, both Kyogre and um, Groudon are in your party. Go talk to Professor Oak, and then he's gonna tell you um, that you can go back, and he gives you the Jade Orb, which is actually the orb that allows you to um, see Rayquaza. So you know, um, I think of uh, shit. <laughs> you know, um, but yeah. Oh, no, I don't care about my Pokédex, Professor Oak. Um, you know. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah, now it, he allows you to go catch the, um, flying Pokemon, or the Pokemon of the air that actually calmed down Kyogre and Rayquaza, which is, or <laughs> Kyogre and Rayquaza, uh, Kyogre and Groudon. 
um, which is Rayquaza. Rayquaza is basically like, I don't know, I've always loved Rayquaza. Rayquaza was like one of my favorite legendaries before Giratina came. If um, Rayquaza was still my favorite legendary, I, I'm pretty sure he still is my favorite legendary. Like, I still love Rayquaza, but like, I just love the way Giratina looks. Like, he's not, per Giratina is not personally my favorite one to use as a legendary, but um, I don't usually use legendaries. But when I did, um, he wasn't usually my favorite one to use. Um, it was Rayquaza. I just love the way that Giratina looks in his um, origin form just because of like, I, I don't know, it, it just looks cool. <laughs> yeah, that, that's basically it, but um, yeah, I just love Rayquaza and Giratina, they're my favorite legendaries. Um, As a favorite Pokemon, like normal Pokemon, um, I have no idea. I, I really don't have a favorite Pokemon. I can't really have my like looks out for like oh yeah that's my favorite pokemon and stuff but yeah because because i don't really have one but as you see here in the embedded tower it is a lot different it is auto walking us and rayquaza is just like going crazy he's flipping shit make sure um rayquaza won't appear if you don't have the jade orb and if you have groudon or kyogre in your team so make sure you have all three of those things and then um you can come over here and talk to him obviously i can't or i'm i'm gonna catch him first try i'm extremely extremely sorry like it just kills me to do this and just use the cheat code to catch him but it's the only way i could do it without frustrating myself too much um with like out flipping shit so you know i'm just glad that i didn't do that during the entire lp and i did it in a bonus episode after i'm after which i'm never gonna play the game again so you know we caught a level 50 rayquaza and um i think i'm gonna go back to the pc uh rayquaza sky high pokemon dragon flying so i think we're gonna go back to a pokemon center um let's actually go to uh fuck I'm gonna go to the Pokemon League because that's pretty epic. <laughs> just, just because it has an epic Pokemon Center. So, um, if we come over here into our PC, we can deposit. Um, damn it! No, I don't want to deposit them. Let's let's move Pokemon. I'm gonna move Rayquaza over to. But no, 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 Rayquaza, Rayquaza. Uh, work with me. Work with me, Rayquaza. Change box. All right. So now. We can move uh, Kyogre, or I mean Groudon, Kyogre, and there we go. Now we have our first full box filled, and now I can come back here, um, move Heracross and Doug Trio back with us, and then Pseudo Wudo can be in a box all by himself because nobody likes you, Pseudo Wudo. Pseudo Wudo. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I guess Pseudo Wudo is going to be in a box for himself for the rest of his life while we have a box filled with legendaries in here. I mean, we have how many legendaries? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So we have 17 legendaries plus a spike eared Pichu and the Japanese Pichu. So, you know, that's quite a lot of stuff. Um, there are quite a lot of Pokemon um, that I have in this box. I didn't expect me having too much Pokemon in this LP. As you see, I only have one box, which is barely anything. Um, so, um, I only have 30 Pokemon, or I only have 31 plus 6. 30, I only have 37 Pokemon in total. So, you know, with that, I think that's going to be the exactly end of this LP. Um, so, you're the exact, uh, the exact end of this LP. So, I guess you guys will never be seeing uh, Soul Silver again. I shouldn't say never, but, you know. Um, I guess you guys won't be seeing Soul Silver uh, again on this channel for quite some time, or probably like just ever. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, I guess that's gonna be the uh, it for this bonus episode. I hope you guys really enjoyed this LP. Leave a like down below, and I'm sorry about the cheat code again. So I'll see you guys next time on my new LP. Peace out, guys.